What you can expect from this collection is stories of resilience, of curiosity, of the power of community. Stories about being unafraid to fail, learning, all of these really awesome things. And one of, I guess, the best things is that positive ripple effect of our actions. You never know how you can impact your community and those around you. And so our goal here at Hydro is to leave you feeling renewed, inspired, feeling like you can find a little bit more hope in ourselves, in our future, and of course, hope in the water. So the Hoop in the Water series is highlighting the stories of these working men and women who are literally working to save our oceans and our planet and working to feed everyone in the world with blue foods. When I think about climate change, when I think about global warming, I feel a little bit hopeless, but that is not what today is about. Because the stories of these people have given me a lot of hope. These stories are impacting the communities that these men and women live in. They are raising them up. They are feeding the people who live there. They are giving them work. And they are helping the environment within those communities. We can work hard to make this happen, to make the change that we want, to give ourselves the power to do something. And one of the things that I got out of it, of course, massively inspirational to be with someone who's doing something new, trying something different, and not only making really good, or I should say, farming really good scallops and seafood for us, but also doing something really innovative and, and good for the environment, a more sustainable method. But something more, even more inspirational for me than that was just his willingness to share. He's out there every day and his willingness to share that, to make it more accessible to other people in or around Maine and New England can start to do a similar thing is really, really cool to see. And I think it's embodied by this saying, the rising tide lifts all boats. And I love that because he's looked at it and said, more people doing this, the better. So today's workout is really inspired by the docu-series, Hope in the Water. When watching this, I got all fired up because it just reminded me how on the water things can change so very, very fast. And in the beginning, it can seem scary, it can seem frantic, and it can seem on the verge of out of control. But when you've been around people that have been exposed to these environments, exposed to these different disciplines, you'll see a sense of calm and control. And it's a, something that really takes me back, not only to the open water, light, breathe, but also to my experiences as a rower. Now, they might have taken the wind from our sails for an afternoon. But well, we will reset our sails and we will reset our compass. Here we come. 